Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I'm going to show you the next video of uh, ASP.NET Core 6 project and online food delivery app and in this video I'm just going for the login section because in the last video session already discussed about the sign up section sign up user view model that is already discussed okay so this is the uh, last video I have covered the sign up post as well as sign up uh, get in this video i am going to show you first of all uh, about discussed about the login section so this is the login http get section so you can say that this is the http get and uh, uh, here we have a login so you can see see that the login view model so login view model email and the password is uh, required for the login view model only so just close it and the next one is when a email and the password is filled by the user so first of all check the login view model in the login view model you can see that uh, i have only username and the passwords and with the written url if model state is valid i mean to say that uh, you can pass the username and the password or you can say you you can pass the email and the passwords so just call uh, authentication repository auth repository that is uh, injected service in the top side there is the i authentication repository so just authenticate user model email and the passwords so here we have a i authenticated user and just call create you uh, sorry authenticated user by their username and the passwords so authenticated user and just return that authenticated user function that is the user okay so here we have account controller so just uh, authenticated user uh, user is not equals to null sorry authenticated repository dot authenticated user pass model dot email and the pass model dot password so pass it here username and the password so respective repository is there authentication user that return the user so first of all sign in manager password sync uh, password sign in async just uh, check username and the passwords so here we have username and password false lockout feature is false and thus return the uh, result so here we have a result if a uh, result is succeeded i mean to say that uh, uh, login functionality is success i mean to say that if a user found in the database so result is succeeded then get the user with the roles so by uh, just you get the user by their username dot find by name async username dot result user and the roles is username and man user manager dot get role async uh, so here we have a user dot result and also if a user have multiple roles so you can just get user dot roles with the roles dot to array and return the user otherwise if it is not succeeded then ret uh, return null so uh, return the user if it is uh, login success uh, success so just go for the account uh, control and here we have a user with their name with their roles and etc so user uh, it is not null i mean to say that user have some roles so string dot is null or empty return url as well as uh, url dot is local url that is the identity features return url redirect to return url if user dot roles dot contain admin if if it is roles with the have uh, roles dot contain admin then just go for the dashboard controller with the area admin if it is roles a user dot roles dot contain user then you can just go for the dashboard but the area is user so uh, here we have okay so after this you just create a new area in the uh, online food dot web uh, so just add a new scaffold item and area is actually exist in the new scaffold item so just you can type this mvc area and just add it and here you can see that area name that is uh, required area name that is admin the area name is admin So scaffolding is there installing updating de dependencies 
so the first area is admin and the second one is the user so here we have a two area in the section uh, first one is admin and the second one is user and here we have a dashboard uh, for both the user and the admin just create it so here uh, you just map this uh, area in the uh, file that is the program.cs file in the later session i will discuss it so just close this first of all okay there is nothing to this scaffold readme.txt file is there so here we have a areas folder and here we have a admin area so just you want to add in another area so just add area and the area name is default that is user okay so here we have a admin and uh, then another one is user okay so just remove this and here we have a user and the admin section okay in the admin section you can see that controller data models and views are there so the first one controller is that related to dashboard controller in the admin as well as user so here we have uh, admin so only the data uh, only the controller and the views are uh, just mentioned so just remove uh, both data and the models from the ad from the both uh, admin and the user area so just remove model also and in the user just remove the data and also remove from the model okay so in the controller section just add dashboard controller empty controller and the controller name is dashboard so here we have a dashboard controller and the next one is also in the user side just add a dashboard controller okay so inside it uh, just add a new dashboard also it here so in the user controller we here we have a dashboard and the admin also we have a dashboard controller so in the account controller you can see that admin also just go for the admin area and uh, area is admin and user go just go for the uh, uh, user area so here we have a user area there is the name is user area user and uh, admin also so index index is by default in the controller side so here we have index method and just go for index method okay so uh, just save this thing so here we have a uh, account control in the account controller uh, here we have a uh, two uh, unimplemented methods is uh, just discussed uh, in the earlier video and this video there is the created user that is uh, uh, that is discussed in the earlier video that is the video number two and uh, also here we have authenticated user so just discussed in this uh, lesson okay so here we have two another task that is the sign out feature and get user okay so the next part is the sign out method so in the account controller you just call uh, this method action method sign out and by using the authentication repository just call this sign out i authentication method so here we have an implementation detail of the sign out is there like that this is the sign out and here we have sign in manager dot sign out features with the written uh, true and exception that is written false okay so this is the simple i account repository just have to create it and in the get user just if you want to get the user by their name by their username just you can use uh, get user method string username uh, user manager dot find by name dot result okay so everything is clear in the account controller okay and here we have all also a unauthorized method just uh, we will discuss in the later session okay so just save this method and uh, save this controller and in the next video i'm going to just uh, go for the next uh, repository 
uh, or you can say the service layer that is the second uh, ser services or repository i already discussed about repository and authentication repository and the next one is the new uh, uh, services about the <coughs> uh, about the items as well as about the orders about the cards as well thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to online food delivery app thank you very much